Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, some of the advanced tools. So we're going to look at um, blurring, smudging, sharpening, brightness, contrast. Okay, so um, we're going to cover quite a bit in this video. So if we, uh, I've got my image, my beautifully drawn house, and you can see around the insides of my windows I've got um, like a white area where the colours have, have met against each other. So I'm going to show you a few techniques in which we can use to, uh, to, to remove those. But firstly, I'm going to show you how to change the brightness of the image and the contrast. So if you go up to um, filters, okay, we're going to adjust the color. And we're going to adjust the brightness and contrast. Okay, so I get this little slide in box that pops up and I can change the sliders. So I can change the brightness, obviously it'll make it brighter. Okay, you can see that that's gone brighter. I take that back down to where it was uh, and the contrast gives it more vivid color okay so you can see that okay and if I take the contrast down you can see what that does to the image so you can also type into these it was 29 and 29 as well to put it back to how it was before okay and that's how it was before so that's brightness and contrast uh, let's have a little look at blur and smudge so um, again, over on these tools, okay, on your bitmap tools, you can only you can only uh, bl um, blur and smudge and blend with bitmap uh, objects. So if you draw a circle and you try to do it, it would ask you to convert it to a bitmap. Okay. So if I drop the list, then you can see I've got blur, sharpen, dodge, burn, smudge. So we'll look at uh, each of those. Uh, so let's have a look at the blur tool. So if I select the blur tool, I come over to my window. Okay, again, I can change the sizes down the bottom here, and I can change the intensity of the blur. So let's take it up a little bit. And if I just click and drag around the outside of the windows, you should be able to see that it's blurring the, the, the window. Okay, you can see it's blurring there. Okay, so it's a very gentle effect. So I'm going to undo that just so you can see that it has done it. Okay, so that's blur. Let's have a look. Uh, let's try the burn tool. So if I try the burn tool, you can see straight away that that darkens. Okay, so if I was to use the burn tool here, for example, um, you can see that it's starting to shade the windows. Okay, because I'm burning around the area. Okay, so that's the burn tool. So let's undo those. Um, let's have a look at the next one. We've got the smudge tool. The smudge tool is quite straight, again, quite obvious. If we do that, you can see it's smudging. Okay, so if I wanted to sort of make the path a bit more sort of rough, I can smudge it like that. Okay, so that gives it a sort of strange effect. So there's a smudge tool. Let's undo those. Um, what else have I got? Dodge tool. Not use the dodge tool. Dodge tool is just changing the colour there. Um, I don't think we're going to bother with the sharpen tool. The only ones you need to be be aware of really are the um, blur, smudge, um, and blur, blur, smudge, and burn. If you want to use the um, the, the burn tool, okay. The dodge tool, by the way, um, that uh, lightens pixels, lightens, lightens the colours of pixels on an image. So if I just show you that, so if I go onto the dodge tool, wherever I click will lighten. So um, as I'm clicking there, you can see it's going to light the blue. If I click there, it's going to light the orange. Uh, if I go there, it's not really working on the black, but uh, you get the idea. You can it uh, it sort of changes, lightens the shade of of um, pixels in an image. Okay, so uh, that's those tools. So you can use those tools in your image to help you uh, either brighten it, uh, ch change the contrast. You can change colors if you want to, and some effects on your uh, logo.